This week I'm going to talk about the do's and don'ts of boating. The noise in the background you're hearing is the pressure cooker. We've actually overfilled the pressure cooker to way over capacity by putting a whole chicken inside. We're trying to make homemade soup. So we took everything from the fridge, everything that was going to go bad soon, and put it in the pressure cooker. First thing you don't want to do is complain about having a leaky wood boat. Not happy with the boat right now. It dripped all over our CD player. So that's ruined. It's not the boat's fault that it's leaky. It's your fault. She leaks everywhere. All the time. We can't win. The deck the decks just leak. That's just what happens. All those seams right there, they're more than likely going to leak on something, on everything. It's up to you whether you want to get mad about it. You got to fill the seams with some tar, caulking, oakum, anything you can stuff in there to stop the stupid thing from leaking. Sometimes it doesn't work. It'll leak anyway. So deal with it. So. The only way to fix it is I'm going to make some tarps that I can unroll underneath because if you can't beat it, join it. Instead of getting mad, be glad. The boat didn't leak on everything. Just your electronics, that's all. Another thing is, you don't have a dishwasher aboard. So you have to do all your dishes by hand. This can be a problem, especially when you're tired. So instead of doing all the dishes by hand, have your dog do them. Your dog is a great dishwasher. This is the best, most ecological dishwasher in the world. It can do an excellent job. She's very economical. She doesn't use much water. Once the dog's done cleaning up all the extra food left over, you don't have to worry about all that extra water that's been used to wash the dishes, the dog's done it for you. So just put the dishes away. Thank you, Layla. It's all done for you. A good thing to do when on a boat is instead of taking your cell phone out and calling your neighbor boats, Use a conch shell. You sound like a bunch of beluga whales trying to talk to each other in the middle of an anchorage. A conch shell is a very efficient way to speak to one another. If you don't properly blow a tune, that could mean I need a new conch shell. If you honk and then the other person honks back, it could mean anything. Who knows? because it's just a conch shell, so you don't really know. But it's a good way to communicate. It's hard to do. Enjoy the sunset, because some of them can be very pretty. This is a Paper Sailor production. Visit papersailor.com to learn more about Accidental Sailor Girl.